Hi, my name's Daniel Burns. I'm going to be painting Elena today, and I'm using the board on the right-hand side. I've already drawn out uh, the ske initial sketch. There's the materials I'll be using. I'll be wood burning the uh, hair. I'll be uh, three using the thick uh, impasto paint. Uh, so that's why I have three tubes. I'll be using uh, palanides to uh, create the effects uh, with the larger brush to smooth it out. I've already started it. Um, so the drawing and then cutting into the wood uh, for the whites of the eyes. I don't have uh, a decision made on how I'm going to do the rest of the eye or if I'm going to put in a body or not. Um, but we'll see where the painting goes from here. So next step is doing the other eye and then working on the hair. We'll see what it looks like then. Well, the eyes are done for now. See how they're cut into the wood there. I don't still don't know. It's gonna they're gonna be blue because she has blue eyes. But uh, the next step is the hair. Have to wait uh, five minutes for the heat, uh, the wood burner to heat up. So only the second time I've ever used one. So uh, let's see what happens. And voila! That's what it looks like after the wood burning. So, I like it. I might go in with a little paint afterwards, give a little bit of highlights and uh, put the name above it. But we still have a lot of canvas if I choose to do the body. Okay, so it's time to apply the paint. I have a lot of paint for this. You'll see why after a little bit. Um, but I'm going to start with the portrait pink and then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Uh, so there's uh, what we're starting with. Well that's what it looks like after the portrait pink has been applied. You can see how thick it is on there. It's going to be interesting to see how uh, it dries, if it's going to shrink that much. Because I, the matte medium I used before, it really shrunk. Um, but now I'm going to apply the buff white. Um, it's going to be a little bit thinner and do some highlights. And then we'll work our way from there. Thanks for listening. Well that's the initial coat, coat of the buff white. I'm going to take some knives to it now and uh, see what I can do with it. I'm going to smooth out the buff white and keep the uh, portrait print a little rough. Um, it's always interesting to see what comes out after this. Alright, cool. Well, that's what it looks like now after smoothing out. Adding a little bit more of the portrait pink. Um, I think it's coming along nice. I have to make a decision if I want to smooth out the portrait pink. I got a couple hours to figure that out. Um, yeah, next steps uh, thinking about the background color, thinking possibly green at this time, blue eyes, and then uh, lips. Uh, you know, do I do them thick in pasta or do I just paint them on there? So decisions, I'll think about it. Until then. So blue eyes and a neck, great news. Elena has agreed to give me the sweater that she was wearing in the picture so I can drape it around the board and it will be the length. It's awesome. So the eyes are going to get a little bit more detail. I still got to worry about those lips. Mm -hmm. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, later. Okay, so some lips and uh, some metallic blue eyes. We're going a little bit farther. I might adjust the lips a little bit after looking at this video, but uh, yeah. Well there we are for right now. The green background, the face, the hair, eyes, mouth, neckline. Elena's given me the actual sweater, so I'm going to drape that over. I don't know if I'm going to have to color in the rest of the canvas or not. 
we'll see what it uh, looks like. I would prefer not to. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Now I just hope that the cat doesn't walk on it. Alright, so I'll see you in a So a week hasn't gone by. I went to the car and got the sweater where she told me was. Cut it down the back because I wanted to see what it looked like on here. You know, it'd be uh, if I could stand it up, it'd be nice to see it. But uh, I think I might have to do the the portrait prank a little bit uh, farther down, and I have to make the stand. But you know, that's uh, that's pretty good right there. Well, it's not quite a week later, but uh, I went to Goodwill and got some clothes, some shoes. It's going to have a stand. The stand will incorporate the, sh the shoes will hide the stand. Um, I've got a while to think about how I want to kind of dress her a little bit more. Um, the face is going to get another coat of uh, paint, so three more tubes of paint. It's going to add a little bit more dimension. I'm going to go with a little bit more smoothing technique um, yeah so that's uh, so far uh, the painting Elena see you later well good morning we're gonna put another coat on this old face here I bought some paint I bought a jar and some more paints and stuff like that I have some leftover that's the picture I'm working on so, I'm going to expand everything, make it stick out a little bit more of, more of a relief and smooth it out and make it a little bit more like skin tone. We'll see uh, what I have to do after this next coat. I'm going to have to let it dry for a while because after I let this dry for three days and stood it up, it started uh, fading out a little bit, like sinking off the wood, so I have to let it dry longer. All right, so it's going to be fun. I'll talk to you later. Well, that's the second coat. Not nearly as dramatic, but definitely a better looking. I still have a lot to do with the pink. I'm going to build out the nose. I'm deciding about the lips. I think I'm going to build them out some also. Make them about a half an inch thick um, to fit into that uh, cavity that I've created with the paint. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go get some coffee and take a look at it and then come back and take a look at it. I got a little bit of time before I have to go to work and, you know, I can see how it's drying and move from there. So, but it's still pretty thick in pass too. Comes from all different angles. See how the reflections gives you a different uh, perspective on everything. So much for uh, waiting on the, to do the nose. I'm gonna get on it right now. Uh, the paint has not been dry. Is not dry. Um, but a couple of things that I have to ask myself: Am I gonna do a diff another coat of a matte uh, flesh tone to get rid of the shininess? And do I want to do the neck in the whiter color, the buff white? Um, I don't know. Decisions, decisions. Alright, so now I'm going to fill in the nose. Here we go. Well, there's the nose. I think it came out pretty well. Especially when you're looking like this. So next questions. Uh, lips uh, need to be uh, manipulated. Uh, the left hand side needs to be a little bit larger and hopefully make a little bit more of a smile out of it. Um, how much uh, more paint I'm going to use? Do I want to smooth out the pink here where you can see where it came from the tube? Do I want to use the paint as a caulking, so to speak, and fill that in? That is also that point here. Um, and what color, buff white or uh, the portrait pink? Um, I'm going to be making some glasses. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how it dries, if it's going to crack or not. Uh, but the paint's designed to be put on thick, so maybe not this thick. But uh, 
Yeah, it looks different from all angles. I really like that about that about this piece. The reflection, reflecting pop quality. So that's uh, something that I have to think about with uh, the skin tone, makeup, type, so to speak, to put on afterwards if I'm going to do that because it's going to take away some of that reflection and reflection of the world, you know? Well, anyway, what would you do? Bye. Well, it's drying. The portrait pink is separating a little bit from the rest of it. Namely, here and here. I'm going to do some work on the lips today. I haven't decided how thick I'm going to go with them. Um, but it's almost like it's a, yeah, maybe I won't, I don't know, we'll see. I have to, to make some decisions, but I'm going to do a little bit of highlighting on the wood. And I might carve off a little bit of the portrait pink on this eye. So here it goes, it's coming along. Well, there it is for now. It's drying with the clothes and everything. Got the shoes, but no stand yet. Really been working on the face and the lips. Uh, outline the eyes a little bit more. Deciding if I'm going to get that little uh, droopy eye and cut that out. Um, in the mouth, um, you know, uh, if I'm going to go more three-dimensional, more impostu on it. Um, so, yeah, I still got to make some glasses. But that's it for now. It's coming along. Well, that's the first look with the glasses. They're taped on so I can move them around a little bit. Um, been working on that. It's been a week. Pretty much five days. Uh, let it dry. Opened up the mouth a little bit more. Uh, outlined the eyes. I'm thinking about... Uh, getting rid of, rid of that droopy area in that eye with an exacto knife just cut it out but it's coming along I'm happy about it well there it is the finished product minus the stand it's easier to store when it's flat um, I really like it I love the symbolism of uh, the work I like how it looks, um, the different textures and color blending. So yeah, Schizophrenia Theater of the Mind .com. Daniel Burns signing off.